Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Patrick, a god, and .NET 7 is around the corner and with that a new version of Blazor as well. And we've got lots and lots of great stuff with the new .NET framework installment with .NET 7 in Blazor. And the first thing I want to show you here in this little tutorial is the new loading animation, the circle it is in the, in, the, in the default Blazor template, but we will uh, remove or not remove it. We will also add a progress bar in there and I will show you how you can do this. Actually pretty, pretty easy. And we've got lots of other stuff with .NET 7 there. I will definitely make more videos about that. And I have to apologize for my little voice issue here. I've got a little cold. If you have kids and you send them to daycare, then you can have lots and lots of fun, but this is another topic. So now .NET 7 Blazor loading animation. If you learn something you like this video i would really appreciate it if you click the like button maybe even subscribe to my channel it does make a difference thank you so so much we've got 26,000 subscribers this is crazy thank you everyone so so much for supporting me you are a great community i love every single one of you and if you want to know more and get these videos in your inbox earlier than I uh, publish them on YouTube. And if you want to get more information about upcoming courses like the .NET Web Dev course, for instance, the bootcamp, then maybe the newsletter is interesting for you. So check this thing out. And with that now, enjoy the tutorial. All right, here we are with the preview edition of Visual Studio 2022. Two. Two, uh, we create a new project by the preview edition. Well, by the time of recording this, uh, .NET 7 is not out yet, just a release candidate one, but this doesn't really matter because I think there won't be that much, that many changes. So we just create a Blazor Web Assembly application, the default one. If you don't know it, by the way, just a little hint, uh, we now got empty Blazor templates, meaning that we do not have the counter page, the fetch data page, not the layout, really basic stuff. So you won't have to delete anything or not that much if you want to uh, start anything from scratch with Blazor. But this is just a side note. We will use the typical default Blazor WebAssembly app template here. We click next and we call this Blazor loading animation because I really love the new loading progress bar circle thingy. You'll see what I mean. Again, we've got the .NET 7 preview here, not .NET 6 anymore. I will use the .NET 7 preview, but maybe in your case, uh, .NET 7 is already out there. So no preview for you. You can just use the normal Visual Studio version of 2022 and also .NET 7. And maybe we can have a quick look here. There you see it, community 64-bit preview, 17.4.0 preview 2.1. With this thing, it works. But now let's focus on our Blazor application. By default, we've got an ASP.NET Core hosted um, project or solution here, meaning that we already have our web API, but this doesn't really matter in our case. We just run this. And you should see when it started. Let's have a look over oh, there. It is on my other screen there really quick. See that this is new. This is really, really new and I love it. Let's just have another look again here. Now everything is uh, loading from cache. So now we see the 100%, but what we can do is we can just clear the site data. And by the way, I got this from the community standup of the .NET guys. So kudos to everyone here who did this, who built this and uh, demonstrated this stuff. Really, really great. So uh, I can only recommend watching uh, the community standups of .NET. I will link to them in the info cards anyway here on the screen, or maybe I did this already. So we clear the site data and then on no not performance on the network tab, we disable the cache, important. And oh, I already enabled the throttling here to fast 3G, meaning that it will, the page will load way slower. So this is not a good representation here. This is not the, the default speed of Blazor. It's much, much quicker in particular with .NET 7. And um, this is also the devel developer state here. So it's not a production, it isn't minimized and so on. I think you get the idea. So we just empty the cache and hard reload and then we can see, hopefully, yeah, this is this new loading circle at the beginning of uh, loading the application. And you see here just for the simulation purposes, it's really, really slow, but you, you really see every single person here that is loading and you see all the stuff that is loaded actually here 
in the network tab. So really, really great stuff, I think. And now the great thing is you can go real crazy with all your CSS skills. I am sure everybody of you, you love cascading style sheets, right? It is so much fun to play around and pushing, moving the pixels on the screen. <clears throat> yeah, it's great that there are already done out of the box loading or progress bars and circles whatnot that you can just copy and paste but first let's have a look at the actual code so how is this done and you see it's really really slow in the simulation uh, process here but this is great for us so now we can we can see that stuff but now let's have a look again at the code so how is this done we can focus on the client application and actually here on our www root folder because here in the index html there is the whole magic sorry about my voice by the way i got a little cold sending your toddler to daycare is not always the best idea but anyways this is another topic here in our app diff we've got this svg with a class we'll have a look at this class in a minute loading progress and then here we've got a circle this is beautiful and then we've got another thingy here called or using the class loading progress text right so we've got the circle and we've got a div inside of the circle uh, where we then see the the progress text and now the important stuff is here in our app css file again this is brand new in dotnet 7 down here we've got all these classes we've got loading progress css magic i really don't have any idea about css i'm not a css expert Mm -mm, absolutely not but i just want to show you the important thing here and it's here you can find it here in the loading progress circle last child and here we've got this thing a variable and this is what blazer is giving us now with dotnet 7 we've got this blazer load percentage variable all right and also down here for the text we've got blazer load percentage text now by default we've got the loading text we've seen it in the beginning you can read loading and after that we see the one percent two percent and so on and something similar is happening actually here by default or it starts with zero zero percent and then it grabs the actual value for the stroke dash array now to to demonstrate this i uh, or what you can do is we use bootstrap here by default and when you google for instance for bootstrap progress bar or something like that loading bar you will get to this page here and there are some other examples of progress bars again i kind of stole this here from the community stand up so again i recommend watching them or just hang out here a little bit i always love to to demonstrate you this stuff as well and <clears throat> down here we see for instance animated stripes isn't that nice talk about the animation then you've got these uh moving stripes here beautiful stuff really but of course you can go really really crazy with i don't know shining circles whatever it is you i think you get the idea but for this uh, demonstration let's just copy this got some default uh bootstrap classes here as well for your css magic and we see these values here the width this is the important thing i want to focus here let's just forget these for a minute i want to focus on the width because for the width here we can also use the variable maybe you were asking or wondering well patrick this is great that we've got this variable but how can i use this variable in my particular case well let me show you now here let's just put it up here actually and we could remove it but let's just leave it here so now we've got the div with the progress bar progress bar stripe and so on again this is bootstrap these are bootstrap classes we already have here in the minimized uh, bootstrap css file but when i would just reload this thing save it and let's have a quick look now it's reloading see that 75 percent uh, it's 75% filled this this progress bar, but it's already there. This is all already quite nice I think really really quick, but now we want to use the variable. So how would you do that? Well, actually pretty simple. We just copy this this thing here var and then the the variable and then the default value 0% <clears throat> Put it here and that's it. Don't believe me. Well, let's just save that we reload 
And now everything will go real quick because we got everything from our cache. But again, we just go to application, clear the site data. And actually now we can just right click, empty cache and hard reload. And now let's see what is going on. See the loading text here. That's pretty, pretty slow, but here you see this 0%. But in a second, we see one, two, and so on. Isn't that just awesome? So we now got a reloading animation. One more thing I wanna try here while I'm at it. I wanna, I wanna see a little text in here. So what we can do, actually, let's just uh, add another diff with the class loading text, for instance and go back to the CSS file. Let's just copy this, maybe put it down here. Loading, oh, that was too much. Just loading, loading text like that. And save this, save this, clear the site data. And let's just try this one more time. And I hope, we get a text, but we'll see. Yeah, see that this is a zero here. And after a couple of seconds, we should see a bit. Yeah, awesome, nice, and it's centered, great. So now you've got a progress bar instead of the circle here, where we actually see the real value and also the width of the uh, loading process of the percentage that is loaded. So now you can really play around with that stuff. You've got a real, progress bar demonstrating the user that, hey, something is going on here. Please don't leave my page. There is some stuff loading. And of course, it's much, much quicker when you don't throttle the, the speed of your network connection and uh, when it's even deployed for production. And now let me just finish loading this stuff. 98%. Maybe we can just... Uh, yeah, okay, it's done. All right, perfect. So this is the new loading animation of Blazor in .NET 7. Yeah, there you have it, 10 minutes maybe, and you've got a pretty neat loading animation. Actually, you don't have to invest any code. You already got your circle animation, but if you wanna change it, then uh, you can go real crazy with your cascading style sheets, skills, I am sure. Again, you love CSS, right? <clears throat> All right, so now I hope you learned something. If so, please click the like button, maybe subscribe to my channel. It does make a difference. So thank you very, very much. Maybe the newsletter is also interesting for you. And if you wanna see more, then just check out these videos here on the side. And additionally, of course, you can write your demands in your comments and maybe then I will make a video about that as well. So again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time. And I hope I see you next time. Take care.